step into the time machine of nostalgia, where past meets present and TV series become a cherished companion on the journey of memories. Cast your mind back to that first encounter with the 1984 classic. Who's the boss? A flicker of anticipation, a remote clutched in your hand. You embarked on a journey into the world of Tony Michelli and the captivating Bauer family. Do you recall that distinct blend of humor and heart? The characters who etched their way into your soul with their quirks and idiosyncrasies. Maybe it was Tony's charismatic charm or Angela's strength that resonated with you. And oh, the countless laughs bestowed by Mona's sassy one-liners. Each episode wove a tapestry of genuine moments, reminding us of the complexity and beauty of human relationships. But amid the laughter, there were poignant scenes that tugged at your heartstrings, moments of vulnerability and connection that made Who's the Boss? Not just a sitcom, but a mirror to our own lives. It was in these shared experiences that the show left an indelible mark. As the curtain rises on our exploration of this beloved series, let's delve into the lesser-known gems that make Who's the Boss? A true treasure trove of trivia. From behind-the-scenes anecdotes to the show's cultural impact, we're about to unearth the hidden facets that enriched this classic. So, buckle up for a journey through time and television, where the past whispers its secrets and the characters you loved come alive once again. Get ready to be amazed, enlightened, and reminded of why Who's the Boss? holds a special place in your heart. It's in your heart. It's in Who's the Boss is a 1984 TV series that emerged as a classic in American sitcom history. Created by Martin Cohan and Blake Hunter, the show revolves around the life of Tony Michelli, a widowed former baseball player who becomes the housekeeper for a successful advertising executive, Angela Bauer. Set in suburban Connecticut, the series humorously navigates the role reversal as Tony takes on domestic duties while Angela climbs the corporate ladder. The show's ensemble cast is led by Tony Danza as Tony Michelli and Judith Light as Angela Bauer, both of whom bring a dynamic chemistry to their character's evolving relationship. The supporting cast includes Alyssa Milano as Angela's daughter Samantha, Danny Pintoro as Tony's son Jonathan, and Mona, Angela's eccentric mother, portrayed by Katherine Hellman. The characters' distinct personalities and the interplay between their backgrounds create comedic situations, heartwarming moments, and touching life lessons. Who's the Boss stands out for its unique blend of traditional family values and contemporary gender roles, tackling themes of career aspirations, friendship, and single parenting. The show's lighthearted humor, relatable dilemmas, and memorable catchphrases like Who's the Boss have embedded themselves into popular culture. With its lighthearted yet thought-provoking narrative, Who's the Boss was not only a ratings success during its eight-season run, but also left a lasting impact on sitcoms and the portrayal of non-traditional families on television. The series' legacy endures through its influence on subsequent shows and its memorable characters who continue to resonate with audiences. Now, let's delve into some interesting tidbits about the show. The show's iconic theme song, Brand New Life, was performed by Larry Weiss. Tony Danza's real-life boxing skills were integrated into his character's backstory as a former professional baseball player. The role of Angela Bauer was originally offered to actress Maureen McCormick known for playing Marsha Brady on The Brady Bunch. Danny Pintoro, who played Jonathan, made history as one of the first openly gay child actors in Hollywood. The show's setting, The Connecticut Home, became an inspiration for interior designers and homeowners due to its stylish decor. In the beloved 1984 TV series, Who's the Boss? One fascinating detail stands out among the cast's accomplishments. Tony Michelli, portrayed by Tony Danza, was not just a housekeeper trying to find his way in a new career. He had a hidden past that tied him to the world of sports. Before taking on domestic duties, Tony Michelli had a career in professional baseball, having played for none other than the St. Louis Cardinals. This unexpected twist adds depth to his character, as audiences followed the journey of a man who shifted from the baseball diamond to the challenges of household management. This wasn't the only intriguing tidbit surrounding the show's production. During the casting process for the role of Samantha Michelli, over 15 O-Girls auditioned for the part. The show's creators sought the perfect fit for the character, 
who would grow into a central figure throughout the series. This rigorous audition process highlights the significance of Samantha's role in the show's dynamic, as well as the level of dedication the production team had to finding the ideal actress for the job. Another intriguing aspect involves Catherine Helmond, who portrayed the witty and supportive character Mona Robinson. Despite her character's mature demeanor, Hellman herself was only 55 years old when the show premiered. Her ability to convincingly portray a more experienced character showcases her acting prowess and the seamless chemistry between the cast members. In the world of Who's the Boss, these lesser-known facts contribute to the show's enduring charm and timeless appeal. From Tony Michelli's baseball past to the extensive audition process for Samantha Michelli's role, and Catherine Hellman's acting range. These behind-the-scenes details enrich the viewer's understanding of the show's characters and the dedication that went into crafting their stories. As fans of the show continue to enjoy its episodes, these insights provide a fresh perspective on the beloved series that captured the hearts of many. Whether reminiscing about Tony's sports history, the exhaustive search for Samantha, or the acting prowess of Catherine Helmond, these details enhance the viewing experience, making Who's the Boss? A cherished classic that remains a part of television history. In an unexpected turn, Alyssa Milano, the young star of the hit 1984 TV series Who's the Boss, took a creative stance during the eighth season. Frustrated by her portrayal of Samantha, she boldly shed her signature long locks for a shorter, fresh look. Milano revealed her motivation in an article, expressing how the character's stagnation had spurred her to make the daring change. This transformation not only signaled Milano's desire for creative rejuvenation, but also echoed Samantha's own growth throughout the series. Interestingly, the show's history also includes a shelved episode that offers a glimpse into the complexities of TV production. Episode 115, initially intended as a pilot for a new ABC series called Living Dolls, was pulled from Who's the Boss? Original prime time scheduled due to last-minute casting shifts. The episode finally found its audience when Who's the Boss? entered syndication, a testament to the intricate dance of TV pilot development. The synchronicity of premieres and finales often shapes the TV landscape, and Who's the Boss? was no exception. The show's premiere coincided with the iconic launch of The Cosby Show. As fate would have it, Who's the Boss? came to a close on the same night as the beloved show's growing pains in Mac Jiver, leaving an indelible mark on the late 80 seconds television era. Meanwhile, it held its own against the formidable The Golden Girls, proving its mettle in the competitive world of primetime scheduling. Who's the Boss? Remains a timeless classic, its legacy punctuated by bold haircuts, hidden pilots, and unforgettable premieres. It captured the essence of an era, showcasing the intricate tapestry of the television landscape and the creative evolution of its stars. Milano's hair transformation and the shelved pilot underscore the behind-the-scenes intricacies, while its premieres and finales resonate as cultural milestones. In the world of television, Who's the Boss? proved itself a master of the unexpected, leaving an indelible mark on the hearts of viewers and the history of entertainment. Who's the Boss? Delving behind the scenes, a tale of eighth season drama in a dramatic twist akin to its own plot lines, the iconic 1984 TV series Who's the Boss experienced a roller coaster of decisions that ultimately shaped its destiny. Initially slated for cancellation by ABC after its seventh season, the show's producers employed strategic persuasion to secure an unexpected eighth season. This extension was not without its strategic gambit. The cornerstone of this final season hinged on the long-awaited union of Tony and Angela, a narrative gamble aimed at boosting ratings. However, the anticipated crescendo of their romance failed to resonate as intended. Despite the valiant efforts of the show's creative team, the eighth season's ratings failed to witness the anticipated surge. Consequently, the network called the curtains on this beloved sitcom. But the turmoil behind the scenes did not stop at plot twists alone. Who's the Boss? Also witnessed unexpected reunions, as Tony Danza's former co-stars from Taxi, Marilou Henner and Jeff Conaway, made guest appearances on the series. This delightful collision of TV worlds added a layer of nostalgia for fans, underlining the interconnectedness of the entertainment industry. 
Yet, the journey of Who's the Boss was fraught with another intriguing twist. The pilot episode, shot in October 1983, remained hidden from ABC executives for nearly a year. The series' creators were gripped by the fear that presenting it as a mid-season replacement might jeopardize its chances of approval. Such behind-the-scenes hesitations starkly contrasted the eventual success and cultural impact the show enjoyed. Through these unforeseen twists and turns, Who's the Boss? cemented its place in television history, emblematic of the complexities that unfold even outside the camera's lens. Its journey from potential cancellation to an eighth season risk, guest appearances, and hidden pilots embodies the intrigue of the entertainment industry itself, a theater of dreams shaped by the unpredictable whims of networks and audiences alike. In the realm of TV lore, Who's the Boss? stands as a testament to the unforeseen possibilities that lie beyond the opening credits, encapsulating both the triumphs and tribulations that underscore the creation of beloved shows. As we bid adieu to the timeless 1984 TV series, Who's the Boss? We find ourselves caught in a beautiful dance of nostalgia and introspection. The show, like a dear old friend, has woven its way into the tapestry of our lives, its witty dialogues and heartwarming moments etched into the corridors of memory. With every episode, we ventured into the lives of Tony and Samantha, Angela and Jonathan, their laughter and struggles mirrored in our own experiences. It's as if they invited us into their cozy Connecticut home, sharing their quirks and dreams, teaching us that life's chaos can indeed be an enchanting melody. Now, as the final curtain descends, it's our turn to play our part. Reflect on those evenings when you sat cross-legged in front of the TV, the laughter of the characters echoing in your living room. Recall the times you saw a bit of yourself in Angela's determination, or in Tony's heartfelt sincerity. Share those anecdotes that make you smile, the ones that bridge the gap between the show's universe and your own. Who's the Boss is more than just a show, it's a timeless connection, a thread that binds us through time and space. So, let your thoughts flow and your memories resurface. Your reflections are a testament to the show's impact, a homage to its enduring charm. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with me. Your time and interest are treasures that keep the spirit of the show alive. Share your stories, and let's celebrate the magic of Who's the Boss. Together, warmly, your name.